Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food we're about to receive for the nourishment and strength of our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And P.S. Don't let us get fat. Tim, why aren't you chasing anything? I'm just watching you eat your little hamburger helper. I did tell you guys that I got my um, bartender's license. Oh, great. I'm telling you guys, I have some excellent drinks, and I would love for all of you guys to taste all of them. I think Trina going to bartending and mixology classes is like having a crackhead work at a crack house. Like, what you doing, boo? What you trying to learn how to make the crack? What's your best one? Instead of jello shots, I make jello bombs. Did you, did you ever make my husband cheating and now I'm staying? Tamar, you did not say that. We're sitting at the table and we're eating and we're drinking. And in true Tamar fashion, she starts talking about people's husbands. Tamar drew first blood. I start talking about mine first. Tamar, you can't just go talking about people's husbands. I don't care about that's, you. Guess that's, what? That's how it's gonna go. Gabe cheated on me. Gabe f***ed around on me. And you did Gabe, that. What? Did I not? Good for you. I f***ed on a d and I sure did not like it and I enjoyed it. Excuse me, mommy. I'm sorry. But you know what? I tasted it. I f***ed it and I liked it and I enjoyed it. And that was a payback like a mother And I will tell it again and again and again and again. I'm sorry, mommy. And guess what? I enjoyed myself immensely. And, and you went I, back home. Did I not? Did I not? Yes, I did. And for what reason was that? Because I enjoy my life at home. Oh. I don't have any problems at home. You do. You have a GPS on your phone, boo. Sam, I swear you're becoming a mean girl. We're at dinner. Mommy says grace. They eat some nasty-ass food. And then Tony pops off and says that I'm a mean girl. That's how the fight started. How am I a mean girl? I, I, feel what, I, I see that it. She there. did. I love my baby sister, Tamar, except she keeps sticking her nose in everyone's business. And everybody don't always want their truth to be publicized. I ain't never made nobody's truth publicized. They made it on their own. Why is everybody defending each other? And I'm over here. Perhaps she don't feel like getting into hers. Well, how you know that's something she wants to talk about? Well, she already talked about it. To everyone. Maybe she wants to talk about it. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. that's about respect. But mommy knew about that, too. Tamar, the problem is stop throwing stones at glass houses. That's the I never problem. I said my life was perfect. No, but you attack everybody else's life. Well, Tamar feels like she could say whatever she wants to say to everybody else. And no one is supposed to have any retaliation or comment on the things that she says to people. And that's not cool. Everybody's so sensitive about, oh, what Tamar's finna say? What Tamar finna do? Like, and, and everybody's so into, like, oh ganging up. So she's on her own no, as usual. Oh, you. yeah, because... She immediately got to Offensive. Typical of Tamar. It would have nothing to do with your mouth, huh? Something always has to be wrong with me to trigger everybody else to, 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 to be together and to leave her on her own. It would have to be something wrong with me. Of course it would have to be something wrong with her. Because she's a mess. Because her mouth is a mess. It is your mouth. True. Because it's true. It is your mouth. Everybody tells you that. But Trina said my mouth is a mess. It's the pot calling the kettle black. Trina can pop off and my mother won't say nothing. Oh, I said it. Nobody else has flaws but me. But even, even no one else dare me not look at my flaws. No, but you show everyone Stop else's down. flaws. Okay, so so you're comfortable talking like, about everyone else's, but if every, anyone talks about Tamar flaws, it's an issue, it's a problem. I'm hating, I'm jealous. What did you Never say I was? Jealous. What did she say I was? All of us are haters and jealous. I guess when you're used to being yes, you did. the only superstar, you know, I guess you would feel a little funny about somebody else coming in and be sharing the spotlight. It's not right. And she thinks people are jealous of her. That's not right, because you don't you're not telling the truth. I sure am telling you're the truth. You're not telling what the truth. What you're saying is your truth. Just like you say, what I say is my truth. What's right, the difference? Tamar. What's the difference of you saying it? Tamar, and you're with a heavyweight. Don't go there with a heavyweight. She's a heavyweight, too. She has a belt. Whatever, she has a belt as well. well. I'm down. saying is this is everybody's Honey. opportunity to get at Tamar because she's so fucking fabulous, and I don't blame them. I don't care. Now, now you're lying. Now you're lying. Y'all must be crazy. Coming up on Braxton Family Values. You will not shut me down. Come on, guys. Enough is enough. I am and I'm never going to apologize. I'm never going to apologize. What's the difference of you saying it? Tamar, you're with a heavyweight. Don't go there. With a heavyweight. She's a heavyweight, too. She has a belt. Whatever, she has a belt as well. What I'm saying is this is everybody's opportunity to get at Tamar because she's so fucking fabulous, and I don't blame them. I'm getting some attention and getting a little bit more famous from the show, and it's making my sisters a little bit uncomfortable. And so it's kind of created a little division. 
them versus me. And that hurts a little bit. I don't care. Now, now you're lying. Now you're lying. It hurts my feeling really bad to see my girls at odds with one another. I can't take it. What have I said about you? What have you said about me? Only thing I said about you. Only thing I said about you. Only thing I said about you. Only thing I said about you is tell your truth. Only thing I said is that I'm your sister. I'm not jealous of you. I respect you, and you're more talented singer than any of us. Okay, that's the truth. So what else did I say about you? What did I say about you? So what did I say about you? You know, sitting there at the restaurant, it was so unreal to me, and I'm like. What? What? Who are these people? What is going on here? What? What is the underlying anger here? She will not shut me down. Can, can I'm trying to shut you down. Well, yeah, you know, whatever. You have to study. Okay, have to can we just what? come together? We no, to we play. can't come together. If it's not, but we can't come together the only way that one person wants to come together. You don't even make any sense. You don't even make any sense to us either. Come on, guys. Enough is enough. This is not the values you're trying to show. Let's keep it real. Stop already. I guess they feel like I think I'm up there and they down here, and I definitely don't think that. I want everybody to be on equal grounds, but, you know, I'm just, like, not cut any slack at all. Well, we're not going to always get along. I don't mean we don't love each other. It does not mean we're going to always we get along. We all love each other. So that's it. That's it. I'm really disappointed in Tamar. I think her behavior is unnecessary and... I'm also angry at myself because I'm finding that I'm getting drawn in it and I'm becoming confrontational and I, it's not me. This is not good. I have to talk to her. She's becoming a mean girl. And I think maybe me saying that kind of set her off. Ooh. Shots. That's how it goes. Garcon.